Remain calm, penguins. You are now under the protection of the North Wind. Rabbit, dibble me. I'm an outlaw. I sort of kept it English, kept it near to my voice, and had a kind of, you know, I would hope a lot more pomposity than, than I normally have in my waking hours, but um, and non-working hours. But yeah, he he's uh, he's very professional. He's very, you know, he's in control of it. He's got wonderful kit. He knows how to seduce and control and plan. He's all he's all the things that Bond should be. But he's also incredibly frustrated, chaotic, useless, and in desperate need of help from penguins. So he's not he's not he's not Bond Bond. The North Wind is an elite undercover interspecies. An elite undercover interspecies task force, force dedicated to help. Help. Dedicated to. Dedicated to helping animals who can't help themselves. Mmm. You know, the Penguins, as we know from the first two films, are just winning characters, and it's great to have them front and center. It's very, very funny. It's really funny. Did you channel any Bond in your head as you were doing it? A bit of Timothy Dalton in the voice. I recognized, actually, I didn't intentionally do it, but I just heard a little bit of, you know, get it to the car. You know, he's a very sort of serious Bond that he had, even, but there's no Roger Moore. And there's not, there, I hope to do all my bad Bond impressions now. There's no Daniel, and there's no, there's no Sean Connolly either. No, he's nothing, there's not that sort of very manliness to him. He's, he's much more sort of English. And also, you know, every time you sort of cut away from a moment of action with him, you see him sort of having a, an espresso with his little pinky of his paw sticking up. You won't get that in a Bond film. So, yeah, something new for Bond fans, I suppose. <laughs>